I'm Kim. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jen. And we're in Shiga Prefecture. The first place we went here was Omihachiman, the city, and we took a boat ride around in a canal there. The canal actually used to be a moat around a castle, but they don't have the castle there anymore. They turned it into a temple. And our boat driver dude, he like did the old fashioned oar, yeah. like a stick oar mm -hmm. that he pushes the boat around with. He sung to us. He sang for us. Yeah. And he showed us how they catch fish there. Yep. And he pulled it like one of those like cages mm -hmm. out of the water mm -hmm. so we could see the fish. Yeah, yeah. Like, the really fish cool. trap. Oh, it was an hour and a half long, so mm -hmm. it was a really nice ride. We should have taken more snacks. Yeah. <laughs> But that was a lot of fun. It was really relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, we explored the city of Omihachiman, which is an old-fashioned district. And they have a lot of old stores and restaurants, which is where you guys ate lunch. Yeah, so we went to the restaurant called Kihe, and we had a local, uh, Omihachiman local food. And we ordered a bento box um, that comes in a like, kind of like a square box. And it was amazing. Um, and I've never tried many of the stuff that was in the box. And one of the meals that I had in the box was koi sushi, uh, which is really interesting because I never had koi or even thought about eating koi. Um, and actually, koi is a river fish, so they have a little mud inside, so you can't really eat the koi. Koi is a river fish, so you can't really eat them. I mean, even if you eat them, they don't taste great at all. So what they do was that um, they actually clean the koi fish. Uh, it takes about two weeks to get rid of the mud from inside. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and they actually specifically use the koi from um, Biwa Lake area too. And they chop the koi into a paste and they um, fry it and put it on rice. And it was actually good. Uh, it was interesting. And maybe if you want to try, you should go there and try. And then we also had uh, beef with it as well. So it's really famous oh, yeah. in the Shiga Prefecture, which is Ami beef. And that was delicious. It, it was tataki, like. Right? Yeah, the rice beef? yeah, so it's like mm. yutataki, which is like, uh, how do you say? It's like raw, but it was cooked a little bit on the outside. Yeah, outside is cooked, and yeah. inside is kind of raw. Yeah. And you dip in the sauce, mm. and the, the sauce, sauce is good. amazing. The sauce it's, was really it's really good. citrusy and sour, mm. but it's also sweet, so mm. it's really good. Yeah. So you should, you should definitely try it. Yeah. yeah, definitely try that out. And then after that, we went to Lake Biwa, and Lake Biwa is the largest lake in Japan, and it's really beautiful. But unfortunately, we were hit with really bad weather, and <laughs> we couldn't really go down and see. But um, yeah, like it was still really beautiful though. There was a really beautiful view and yeah. lots of nature around there. What's different about Lake Biwa is that they have ayu in there, which is a type of fish, and they have chiayu, which is a really small fish, which is what we had for lunch the other day, the really small one. So that's really unique. And also people in the Kansai region in Japan come to Lake Biwa to swim. So yeah, that's something different because I don't have a beach. Yeah. It's definitely a place I'd like to explore more with better weather sometimes. Yeah, so it's a shame, but mm. you can't help that. So now we are ninja. Yes. Koga Ninjutsu Village. Yeah, we just went through some intense ninja training, so um, yeah, we, <laughs> we're full we are ninja full now. ninjas now. I'm big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As you can see, dirty. it's raining around us, so it was a very muddy day for yep. us, but we yep. did lots of cool training, like yep. climbing walls and having battles along <laughs> along a ledges yeah. and uh, walking across logs. And we also did ninja star throwing oh, Yeah, shoot star. again. So yeah, we all sucked at that. <laughs> Except but, June yeah. actually got one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I guess if we get into trouble and he can yeah. do all that. I, I, I will sucker myself and protect yep. you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thanks, thanks June. June, we're very appreciated. Like a shinogi, <laughs> like a ninja. They also have a lake here that you can walk across, or like a little pond, and they have ninja water shoes that you use to guide yourself across a rope. And Chris was really good at that, so he made it all the way across the lake. <laughs> Yeah, even though he had to climb the whole thing. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It was really funny that to watch. That was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they also had a ninja house that we could walk through that with, like, and see all the little trap doors and go inside them and stuff. And it's called Ninja House because a ninja actually used to live there. Right, like it was a real, real ninja. ninja house. Yeah. yeah, so that's really awesome. Really yeah. Cool. So that's the end of this prefecture. It was really fun hanging out with you so guys. It was so much fun. And um, yeah, next trip is going to be Rachel and June. They're going to go to the yeah. Kansai yeah. area. Just us. Yeah. And so stay tuned for more of us. Yeah. We'll see you then. Yeah. Bye. Bye.